Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on Fortran programming. Now, in the last tutorial we saw how to install Fortran and the required uh, editors to start uh, start our program. Okay, in this tutorial we start we we'll write our first pro first Fortran program. And before I go with that, I ha I thought I thought of explaining with just one more concept. Uh, this is regarding the other Fortran compilers available. Okay, see, uh, the, the reason why we use code blocks is because it has a both uh, GNU, it has, uh, it supports GNU compilers, C, C++, Fortran and other compilers. It has both compiler and editor inbuilt and it's good for very making small projects and it's very very good for beginners. But there are, a f it does not allow some compiler flag insertions. Uh, it has its own compiler flag insertion working principles and uh, it may not uh, allow us to you know uh, uh, you know give the f it will not give us enough freedom to modify the compiler flags and all and stuff uh, this is this has to be checked but this works pretty fine and there's a reason why we use GNU Photon because it is very simple free free open source and easy to use and has almost all the standard features of the Fortran library okay and uh, if you guys uh, uh, doing just small jobs or reasonably petty jobs I mean not very 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 small most of you guys for most of our practical applications uh, G Fortran alone will be G Fortran is sufficient uh, this is good for beginners and learners and even advanced users can use it and uh, the thing the good thing about G Fortran is uh, G Fortran okay the, if you learn this version the learning of other versions becomes easy because this is the easiest one to follow uh, by the way, uh, there are other versions of Fortran also like Intel, PGI, Cray, NAG, HP and all. What they do is that these Fortran, uh, Fortran compilers are essentially the same Fortran except that they have a little more, they have a little more features. They call it the non-standard features, okay, that, are, that may not be available in the standard basic version of, uh, standard basic definitions of Fortran. But, the, the, but these standard, non-standard versions help in a certain way. That depending on the application and also if you guys notice these are all software with the I mean Intel is a pro microprocessor manufacturer your all your all your Pentium core processors and uh, you know i i7 i, I third generation processors you know all the processors are made by them PGI Cray and HP are computer manufacturers so I mean, especially some some of the manufacture supercomputers also especially PGI and Cray NAG I I'm sorry I ha I, I, I Honestly, don't know what exactly they do, but I do he heard that NAG, is, NAG provides some very good quality compilers also. Okay, these compile these com companies take use of the system architecture present in the present in the lab systems to you know ma to make the programs run even more efficiently and faster. Okay, in for instance, Intel guys know how uh, pro how the processors work and all. Based on that information, uh, they could they might they can you know make a lot of co corrections to it. They can make a lot of corrections to it, and using the advantages of the comp of, uh, processor, they can make the program run a little more faster or uh, cut down memory and stuff. I mean those that is what the advantage I'm seeing. That is what the advantage I'm seeing saying. Maybe Gnu Fortran on the other hand may not take up these uh, take these advantages and stuff and all. Okay, that's the difference. But if you guys want to go for extremely high pr high level calculations and uh, heavy duty computation and all, it is recommended you guys take any one of these and proceed with. But it's not mandate; it's just optional. In the in the case if you want to use, you can guys can go ahead and use it. And uh, the uh, there are only one, there's only one issue with it. In these compilers is that they are reasonably priced. Some they they do they have some free versions, but some of them are reasonably priced, which uh, you might know some people might not like it. But on the other hand, Gnu Fortran is free, so it's good to start with also. And uh, I don't recommend this for small jobs. Even you can do small jobs, but uh, this is these compilers are specifically rec I mean, recommended for very advanced and uh, complex com complex processors and all. Okay. And uh, they have features that can make uh, uh, these compilers have features that that make it compatible with uh, the other co other programs of the same compiler. For instance, for the same pro company. For instance, Intel Fortran 
uh, has features to run along run alongside intel c or intel cuda in a in a in a nice man sorry intel based cuda i think and several other programming languages very nicely provide all of them come under intel like that but thing is the one caution you have to keep follow is do not mix and match these compilers meaning if you are using some some uh, compiler some features from for intel some features from cray and some features from uh, pgi okay i if the uh, your system the your program may, may not work at the same time if you suppose if you have a gnu fortran program okay this will work in intel pgi cray more or less nicely but if you guys want to use these features these prog- uh, programs that specifically run in these it may not work in other compilers because of the compiler uh, compiler uh, process, compiler uh, i mean the way in which the compilers are designed for optimization system architecture and all the non standard features they can disturb a lot so what you do you have to do is that either do not mix and match these compilers or do them very carefully or else you might end up with you know different different results okay now enough of this introduction with this we'll complete we are completely through with our introduction we'll go to and write our first fortran program okay what do you, what do you guys can do is open your code blocks i kept my i kept an icon here okay uh, depending on the operating system you're using the view might be slightly different okay what i do is that i just create a new uh, here i just create a new project in that project what i do is that i set this to fortran and you have these options click this fortran application and click go and it will show up a project wizard click next um yeah i i'll be i'll keep this here I'll, you have to set a folder where to where i had to write your project i already have a folder so no problem i just say this say this i'll just name this hello and the project name will be hello i gave the title to be hello and the project name will be hello.cbp or core blocks project click next and in this here in this position place set the compiler to be gnu fortran compiler gnu fortran compiler not this not any of these gnu fortran compiler and make sure these two options are checked and click finish and uh, it, it just pops up a black window but doesn't matter in if if you look at this so fortran sources you will find a file called as main.f95 double click this and you already have a program written on, written in it by default okay uh, to make sure this works fine click this build button okay it should it should show no warnings no errors like this let me just raise the screen for you guys yeah it should show no warnings no errors not like that and then run this yeah it should show uh, this hello world stuff over here they ignore this for for the while so no nothing to matter okay uh, you know let's uh, write our own program okay now let's start with the comment if you want to write a comment in fortran you have to use uh, f- you have to use the exclamation symbol and then start writing uh, this program is a hello world program okay now comments are very useful if you want to give lot of information to the con- information to the user and the reader who is reading who is going through the program and comments are just ignored and whatever you write after the exclamation symbol just gets ignored by the compiler okay and so this this can be used for both features to ignore line certain lines in a p- program and for giving kind of information okay and the basic fortran pro- and, the, and, the, and the fortran program starts like this you have to you have to type the keyword program and then what you have to give you have to give the program name this main.f95 is the file name whereas whatever you type here is the program name my i, I gave the name hello program hello okay and then i end the program with the command end program hello okay this program name is kind of mandatory it's not mandatory but it's option it's it, it's always a good practice to follow then we have to write this uh, keyword call statement call is implicit none okay i'll explain you guys in the next tutorial as to what this implicit none means as i know just follow with me and to print to print hello world what you do is uh, use the print command then followed by a star and a comma and then type hello world 
hello world my name is Arun. you guys write your you guys write your name okay and then once this is done what you guys can do is uh, you can either click this yellow gray yellow color gear, gear button here or else what you can do is just go to you know build options and click the build build here so what I prefer what I prefer is I prefer this option more easy you know build this okay now run this file now build what building does is just goes through the file compiles it and make sure that everything was working fine and then creates a lot of object files build b and also uh, object files from the object files will create an executable and when you click the run button over here it will execute it will execute like the it will execute the it will start the execution file executable file and then opens up a terminal like this and since our program is right we get this call we get this in message hello world but my name is Arun and if you guys re re if you guys wrote your, your name it'll it will say that my name is like Steve my name is like uh, Vignesh or something like that okay and that's a click enter and this gets closed congratulations guys you have finally successfully completed your first program in Fortran programming in the next tutorial on in the next tutorial onwards we'll see we'll jump into a little more serious programming stuff and uh, I promise you guys to make this uh, video sessions much more interesting and exciting as possible. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Next video.